Welcome back. I've got a new fender. I was gonna go ahead and update y'all because I don't do a lot of updates on my Grom. I haven't lately. I just kind of go out and ride. <laughs> but the update is about a fender, about a gauge cluster, like an aftermarket gauge cluster, and another dirt bike fan because this one's kind of it's jagged now. Nothing's wrong with it. It's just I've got it zip tied down here, and then the strap's kind of loose. It doesn't lock in place anymore. So I've got a new one on the way. I've got an aftermarket gauge cluster on the way. And then I've got my new uh, fender, which I just bought. So I'm gonna mock up the uh, fender to see what it kind of looks like. Cause I, I know it's gonna look really good. It's like you can kind of tell like how it might look. Been wanting a Motar fender and I almost bought another one that was slightly bigger for a Supermoto, like a 250cc Supermoto. But I'm glad with the, this is like a 50cc. Um, fender. I'm glad I went with it because it looks a lot better. It doesn't look over, like too overpowered or whatever. Because like the the big uh, supermoto fender come out like here and was like kind of wide. It was like it was not really that wide, but it was kind of wide. But it still it stuck out pretty far. This one's kind of looks like it's going to be near perfect to be honest. But yeah, I don't know if I'm going to leave the um, the light because I may have to leave the light and I may have to mock this up to the light because if I don't, the fender is gonna be way up there. I really don't know how I feel about it being so far up. So I may have to put this on to the light somehow, rig it up to the light. But regardless, I am gonna be able to see so with the light. Regardless, because the new dirt bike fairing that I'm getting, the uh, number plate, I'm getting a new one, and I've got a pod LED light already, and I'm gonna cut a square in that, and I'm gonna put the pod LED inside that, and I'm gonna put it on my bright light, so I'll have more light, of course, when I'm cruising or whatever, but I've gotta mock this up to this light because it, you know, it, it brings it down to where I think it's a better look i don't know because i don't know how i feel about it being way up here against that triple tree so i'm gonna uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make some adjustments i'm gonna try and see what's what's the best for it and uh i don't know i'm gonna try it out though. so what is uh what's going on here is the bracket for the horn is in the way. So what I think I'm gonna do is loosen it and I think I'm gonna take the bracket off and just put the horn on that spot instead of putting the bracket back on. Hang on a second. All this is is uh, two 10 millimeter bolts. The, the bolt that holds the horn in and the bolt that holds the bracket on. It's not following me. Dang it. It really doesn't look bad at like at all. I kind of like it. It doesn't look bad at all. The new fairing is gonna be a little bit tighter than this one. Film a video. Yep. 
Trash can. Oh. Hey, like my new fender. I guess, but it doesn't match with your parts because your parts are scratching off, and they they have like they have a green, and then they have parts that you scratch is like, and then they have pink, and they have, then they have brown and black. How I made them like that? Why? I don't know. I need to tear that up. <laughs> oh, I'm bad at all. See, my problem was without the light, it would be way up here. And I just feel like that's really big. Like it's really tall. Like, the fender would be here pointing out instead of down here. And this is like a more supermoto look. Like I love the supermoto style. This question is go by a supermoto. I don't fucking want to. <laughs> I like Groms. I don't even know if we got the camera pointing this way. Like the whole time, just pointing out in another direction. All I mean is meaning, and like, blah, can't even talk, whatever. Done. Done being a YouTuber. It's over. Hey, Lily. Shoot. So I'm gonna leave it like this for now. And then I'll build a bracket for it later. Make sure it's tight as possible. Pretty tight. It don't seem like it's going anywhere. Just in case. It's not bad. It's like super tight too. It like don't move. But eventually I am gonna get a bracket and bolt it on. But for now this will work. Cause I'm gonna have to build a bracket to hang on to this light and bolt in. Which I got a pretty good idea how to do. But I'm gonna wait till I get my new fairing and my pod light and my new fairing and my gauge cluster, because I gotta figure out where to put my gauge cluster up here. I think I'm gonna put it here, because I got my phone thing over here, so I think I'm gonna put it here, and it's just gonna sit right here, it's like a little pod. Now, the next thing I'm getting is a seat, a flat seat Dylan just bought, and it looks really good on his bike. And I'm gonna get the flat seat. It does go with the curb, but it's just more flat. And then I'm gonna get um, all of this I want to do something with all this. I don't know what yet, but I'm going to try and think of something. I've seen a guy put a whole uh, kit on here that kind of slims it down a little bit, and I thought about getting that. But this looks so cool. <laughs> that is so dope. I like that. Thinking about taking my rear fender thing off again, because I had it off before, but I, want, I put it back on just to kind of see what I thought about it, but I think I'm gonna take it back off. I don't know, y'all tell me. What y'all think? I like it. I dig it. <laughs>